Imagine a scenario like this, right? A baby might seem to develop really typically for the first year, but around 12 or 18 months old, they start losing skills. Maybe they stop saying mama or dada. Maybe they stop making eye contact. They regress. Families sometimes think, wait, if this is genetic, then I should have seen it right from birth, right? But the gene was always there. It just didn't come into play until this stage of development when its effects become visible. This doesn't feel like what a genetic condition should look like, but it is a genetic cause. So is there a number? Like, can we say that X percent of autism is caused by genes? Researchers think that about half of autism can be linked to these genetic variants that are out there in the population circulating, the kind of stuff you can inherit from mom and dad. Maybe another 20% of autism is thanks to these de novo spontaneous mutations. And then there's you know, some other bit that they definitely think is genetic. We just don't know exactly how yet. Okay, so some quick math here. That means that when we look across the whole population, 80% of all the autism cases we see can be traced to these genetic roots. 